Greetings and welcome to Smartwatch Ticks. We're a YouTube channel on the web at smartwatchticks.com. Sin Bono is back. Yeah, it's been a little while now and uh, they've got a really fun and cool sports smartwatch in here. This thing is nice. It definitely has a sporty design to it. The case, the body, the band, the whole look is sport, sport, sport all the way around. And it doesn't uh, disappoint on the overall watch itself either. Look at this. We've got an interesting bezel with, um, it looks like all the different cities around the world on here, like one of those 24 hour whatever world clocks. Of course, it doesn't do that. It's just on here for, for view. Open and uh, down. Um, those are different words for buttons, uh, but it's got them. Oh, we got a little cover on the back, too. It's a good thing that they're actually saying peel it off, otherwise we might not see it. Two buttons on the side, like we mentioned, and uh, removable bands. And what is it? Well, I got a lot of things to show you here. First of all, from the official Sinbono store, it's the Sinbono Max 6 and... Uh, there's a link in the show notes to take you over to this store. You also can get it through their Sinbono AliExpress store. Uh, if you'd like to choose to buy through there, you have a variety of prices. It's roughly about $30 to $35, different uh, looks to it, green band, black band, all kinds of things. Again, show notes will take you over if you want to pick it up there. Or if you're a Banggood fan, you can hop over to Banggood. We'll see if we have coupon discounts on any of these. You notice the prices are all over the place. They're constantly changing, so the best thing is when you're ready to buy, check our links, pick the one you want, and that helps us out here at Smartwatch Ticks with uh, getting more watches for you. So same watch, it's the Max 6, and uh, it's from Sinbono. Now, overall, in terms of specs, the big thing about this one is the 30-day standby time and uh, Bluetooth calling with Bluetooth 5.0 and a 400 milliamp hour battery. What else can I say? The rest is basically a watch. It's got the female physiological support stuff because it uses the DuffFit app, which allows that integration. So if you're a lady, you can, uh, you can keep track of all that. And if you're a guy, you can support your partner in all of that. You've got multiple watch faces, custom dial capability, weather on it. Pretty nice overall uh, sports fitness smartwatch 15 days working time 30 days standby time couple of hours to charge to get a month's worth of basic use out of it not bad at all and when it comes to bluetooth calling yep check this out i wanted to show you the page in case we don't really get to test it out when you're in the process of making a call you get the volume control on the on the screen so you can go up or down in volume which is really nice a lot of times you got the call going on but it's either too soft or too loud and you can't do much with it well here it, it's going to be part of the watch itself okay okay i know you want to get into it so let's open the rest of the box and see that we've got the charging connector it's a two-pin one, but if you notice, there's never, ever been any standardization. Look at the curve on the inside of that thing and how far apart the pins are. Yep, they haven't standardized on these. So if you are a multiple watch owner, a collector, make sure you keep your two-pin wire associated with your two-pin watch. Same, even worse for the four-pin ones because some of them will fit interchangeably, but the power's backwards, and you could zap a watch with that. But... Nah, I digress. Here you go. It's not quite strong enough to hold it because it's a bit of a heavy watch with that 400 milliamp hour battery in there. Um, but there you go. And then we've got a manual as well. Smart bracelet manual. There's the QR code to download the app. Or again, you can uh, get to it through the show notes. I'll have a link over there for you. Talks about Bluetooth call version connection, how it all works. It's pretty simple, as you guys know, and I'll walk that through as we show you the uh, screens. Feel free to freeze frame the YouTube if you want to read and look at the pictures more in depth. When you are putting your watch together and pairing it up, you're going to pair once with the app. That will give you all the interactive capabilities, probably set the date and time on the watch from your phone. 
through the app once you're paired to the app. But then when it comes to making calls, doing the Bluetooth calling, you need to pair a second time, just like you would with earbuds. And this is all Chinese on this side. So you end up pairing it twice, once for the Bluetooth calling and music playing, uh, you know, controlling the music on your phone to play through your watch, which you should be able to do with the speaker in here. And of course, with the microphone, um, you can do the calling and everything, but you got to pair twice to the phone. All right, I'm going to take time to charge it up and then uh, let's run through it. Simple long press on the open button. Give it a second, vibrate it, and it's there. Into the first of about four different watch faces. We'll show you that in a minute. When you slide down, you got all these different controls, and we're at full brightness. So here's our lowest brightness, and that's what the screen looks like there. And even that is really, really nice. But of course, you can brighten it up several different levels all the way to full and back down again. You've got theater mode, which will suppress the vibration, which this is, and also automatically dim the screen. This is your weather when you're tethered to the app. Uh, it'll uh, let you tap that. You can bring up the weather. Here's your date, time, battery level, power, and settings which of course you can get to other places. Here's that theater mode I was talking about. You got all kinds of things. You got a stopwatch built in here, basic alarms that you can set day of the week and do it all right from the watch. You don't need to do it from the app, which is really cool. You got countdown timers in segments, but you can't apparently set one directly. And um, that'll run. You've got the brightness, which we already looked at. Phone on and off toggle here. When it's off, of course, you're saving power. That's how you can get that long battery life. If you're going to make a call, though, you want to turn that thing on. We'll show you that in a different area. Um, this is shake on. Uh, that's your vibration. Turns it on or off. Theater mode. Reset power off. About the watch tells you that it's the Max 6. And that's your app that you could scan um, to get the uh, the app, which is DaFit. Now we've reviewed DaFit so many times, we're not gonna do that today. I'll have links in the show notes to download it and other videos, it'll take you right to the review of the app itself if you wanna just see how the app works. When you go this way now, we're getting into um, other things. This is your uh, app drawer. You have sports, which is basically your step count last night's sleep time and we have panels that you can go through to look at all of these you can measure your heart rate this is training we'll look at that separately phone blood pressure and blood oxygen and weather and shutter and player they're all tabs that you get to either scrolling or pressing that button others now is about the QR code and everything we looked at in settings. You see how they're all nested? And then Youngbird, you got yourself a fun little game on here that as long as you tap the screen, you can keep the bird in flight. Oh, I got to do better than that. This shows you how really good Mr. Tix is if he can't even keep the bird oh from hitting well, you get the idea anyway there's a little game in here to play as well and that's all when you swipe that way when you go this way now we're looping through a bunch of screens your overall step count um and highest and lowest in the time frame that you were stepping i have the twist your wrist to light it up. Here's last night's sleep time. Haven't slept with this one, so I don't have the data on here, but it would tell you show your total, your light and your deep sleep. You got heart rate that's gonna create a chart, show you your highest and your lowest. I got a little bit on there just to give you an idea, but throughout the day, the 24 hours of the day from midnight to midnight of the current day will be on here. At midnight, it goes blank and starts over. Here's our exercises. When we tap this, you get into the list of them, running, walking, cycling, basketball, football. When you pick one like running, it gives you countdown. There's no GPS in the watch, but it'll vibrate, start counting time, show you your steps, distance travel, calories burned, based on the pedometer in the watch, and heart rate. Um, this screen is where you either pause it or stop it, and it's too short to save, so you can just bail out of it. But that's your exercises. Here's the phone. Come back to that in a second. Then you got blood pressure and uh, 
Good time to put it on, I guess. Show you what it looks like on. The, uh, the strap is really nice. It's very flexible. I mean, very, very flexible. Nice, rubberized. Lots of holes. It'll fit everybody's arm from the tiniest to the biggest. It's really a well-done strap. Now I'm in here. I just tap the screen. It's going to go off and measure my uh, blood pressure, and it's showing you the last seven readings in a bar chart form. Now it's not giving you numbers associated with those, but it's showing you your high rate, your systolic, and then your diastolic, the, the lower rate, and um, it'll just accumulate those. So see, my blood pressure is overall higher in the systolic right now than the last time. I got a couple of them in there for you. And same thing happens here for blood oxygen. Just touch the screen. It'll give you the percentage. Remember, you want to probably be between 94, 95, and 9,900, 97. This one, last one was 96. A good thing to have if you're recovering from COVID or concerned about getting enough breath uh, to make sure your uh, blood oxygen is high enough. Weather will show up if you're tethered to the uh, DoFit app, and it can pull and pull that weather in. Again, see the review of the DoFit app on another video. This is a remote uh, camera. When you activate this, it'll uh, bring up the camera on your phone and you can take a picture and tap that uh, on the watch so you can make a selfie or a group shot. Here's the player. When you're tethered, you can connect in, play music from your phone through the watch. And I'm going to give you a demo of that in just a moment, but not using the app by being connected through uh, the same way we would do the phone. Um, phone calling. So that's it. Um, and I can come back to the beginning. I can also get to all of those screens by pushing the down button. They don't loop though. They just get to player and then that brings you back. So we want to come over here to phone, turn phone on and it wants me to pair. So then I go to the watch and pair and it already has paired. So now you see it just woke up and activated. So I have some recent calls in here, which I can't show you because it's got the phone numbers. It doesn't replace them with your contact names. Or I can bring up the dial pad and place a call. When you do the call, it's good and loud, and the Bluetooth connection is decent. It really is. I took this outside through walls and everything and got at least 30 feet away, and it worked, worked really, really well. But what does it sound like? Let me play that for you. On my phone, I've got... Um, radio station hooked up here there we go i had the volume down on the phone now you should be able to hear it you got music switch stations okay so that's basically um how, how the, the music sounds coming through it and radio. It's a little tinny for my ears. It doesn't have a lot of rich bass, but for phone calls, that sharp crispness is going to be really valuable to be able to hear somebody and not have to slap this thing right up against your face. Uh, watch faces. Thank you for reminding me. Watch. You tap that. You got that nice digital one uh, or analog one there. Then you've got this one here, another analog watch with the uh, some other areas. It's got the heart rate, but it's not um, live. It's just the last reading, as far as I can tell, that you had. Then you've got another really nice analog watch face on it. It's a ruggedized looking watch. Not too thick. Yeah, all in all, it's pretty good. Come on. We're playing with you. Got one more watch face to show, and that's this one. So what do you see in that picture? Really? Okay, I could go with either a fish or a mermaid. I like the idea of the mermaid, but honestly, I think it's a fish. Anyway, <laughs> so you have that one with digital. Um, it's just showing uh, midnight or noon or whatever because I haven't set it up and paired it with the phone yet. When you do, all of that gets updated automatically on the watch. So um, for what it does... Long life, Bluetooth calling, bright screen, ruggedized appearance, easy to operate. It's a really nice watch. And it's a Sin Bono watch, so we know it's good quality. This is their official store again. You can get the Max 6 directly from them by using the link in the show notes. It'll take you to here. 
Or, if you prefer, you can go through AliExpress at the Sin Bono store and uh, pick it out in whatever color you like. Black, green, I think they got one more color there. You have the options here. And, of course, if you're a Banggood fan, you can pop over to Banggood and pick it up as well. And, of course, we'll have that link in the show notes, too. So, there you go. Uh, very nice quality watch. I like this one quite a bit. It's good. It's bright outdoors. You, you can see it at all angles. Um, so for what it does with a nice man, yeah, I'd recommend it. All right, gang, we'll see you again soon, and thanks for watching.